Hello, hello, and welcome. I'm Ryan, and this is XCOM. We're broke, but what else is new? We managed to pull out of our uh, fatigue spiral in the last mission, the last episode, and today we are headed to a council mission. Been a while since one of these. Don't really have anything else to do, so let's get straight to it. Run a target escort mission. We've received an interesting report that a politician from Russia who once advocated cooperation with the aliens has now come under attack. We'd like you to retrieve this man alive so that we may speak with him. Um, yeah, so basically we need to get this guy so that they can, I don't know, waterboard the shit out of him. It's a little grim, uh, <laughs> but that's today's mission, so let's go. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. So I've already assembled a squad as usual, and as usual it's our spread of, you know, something from every class we had available pretty much, but uh, I have sort of an idea in mind for, you know, why the squad is this way. So on this map it's a lot of sort of rooftop action. Uh, if it's the one that I'm thinking of, it's pretty much just a straight shot of taking this uh, VIP down this alleyway to the evac zone and you're dealing with you know enemies on the ground as well as thin man drop-ins on the rooftops so i wanted a combination of sort of up close fighting as well as sort of mid-range overwatchy sort of stuff uh so leading the charge there is prevost our infantry he is in overwatch spec infantry covering fire opportunist uh we have takahashi uh who was the uh, highest level sniper we had available, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, we could bring Haddad on this one, but uh, I think it would be better to bring Takahashi here, uh, especially on a mission like this where I'm not really sure what we're expecting. Better to bring uh, our most skilled troopers. Uh, standard sniper loadout. Uh, we have Christensen, again, pretty standard assault loadout. Uh, Fraser, carrying our backup med kit. He's got the hollow targeting shredder, uh, much like Simpson does. He'll be performing pretty much the same as she does. Uh, we have Verhoven. Uh, we had Yoshida available for this mission, but I decided to go with Verhoven to get some more experience onto her. Uh, she's carrying a combination of uh, HE and frag grenades. Uh, frags for when we have uh, potentially aliens drop in to no cover and overwatch like thin men are want to do uh, we can use you know the bit of extra damage there to great effect uh, and then we have Kramer carrying our next our additional alloy plating uh, since we don't have a covert op in the mix right now once we get the mission sorry the money from this mission uh, we're pretty much scanning for exalt immediately uh, and then we have Sharma. Both of our uh, non-slappy medics, that is Rosenthal and Sharma, are very close to a promotion. I considered taking two medics for this mission, but I don't think it would be worth it. Uh, we'll just bring Rosenthal along on the next one. Looking ahead though, if not Christensen, Zhang's still out for a long time. Uh, it looks like Thanao will be reprising her role as a uh, covert operative as Zhang won't be uh, ready to do so for a while. Oh, he still has a promotion in the works. Oh, right. I wanted to see if uh, Hit and Run... I don't think Hit and Run lets you take two shots if you take a... Uh, a run and gun shot first. Or, rather, if you take the Hit and Run shot and then you run and gun. I don't think you get to run and gun after you take a Hit and Run shot. You just get to make a normal move. So... Uh, still might be run and gun, or hit and run for him. Run and gun's that perk. Hit and run's this perk. Uh, Close Encounters does come with a will bonus, but it still might be hit and run for him. Yeah. I'll do that the next time he actually comes around for a mission, though. Uh, so, getting on with it. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did that say Kelly in 19 hours? Oh, 19 days. Okay, oh, and then one hour for Brun. I was going to say, I thought he was out for a while. We are getting pretty close to the end of the month here. Huh. Alright, well, let's get going. Enough waffling. Again, I think last mission was uh, a record for pre-mission waffling. That you'll handle this matter with discretion. 
almost a solid 20 mission, 20 minutes before we got on the ground. Let's get going. <gasps> Wait a second, Russia! Dropship has Panic arrived. reduction! This is exactly what we need. Thank you, Council and Aliens. Oh my gosh! This one. If this goes well, I think we keep Russia in the uh, in the project for the end of the month. That's fabulous. All right, let's get on with it, though. <clears throat> I am a little worried, though, because just like Zhang's mission, uh, these council missions tend to get beefed up a little bit by Long War. Yep, this is the one. Who is that, Thorn? The VIP for this operation goes by the name of William Thorn. He's an influential politician suspected of collusion with the aliens. Oh, collusion! bring him in alive for questioning. Get him to the Sky Ranger for evac. This is absurd! Do you honestly think I would turn my back on my country? I am not a traitor, damn it! We have a new objective. Okay, so, like I said, it's pretty much just a straight shot down this alleyway. Uh, and we have these two elevated positions to work from as well. Now, access to the building on the right... Uh, I believe roof access is over here. I don't think you can actually get on top of the, uh, the red one here unless you... Around the back of the building, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, but you can definitely head up here, which is what we're going to start doing. Uh, we're going to split the squad into two bits one to provide uh, overwatch and fire from the roof, and another one, probably composed of Christensen and Verhoven, uh, to move through the alleyway, destroying cover, shooting dudes where we can. Now, where that plan falls apart is uh, if we make contact and the aliens retreat into buildings. But I really don't like the idea of moving our entire squad down this alleyway and letting, you know, thin men drop in on us and just ruin our day. So we're going to be sending our shootier squad members, Prevost, Takahashi, uh, where is... Yeah, Fraser, up on the roof to provide that overwatch as the rest of the team takes them down the alleyway. Hopefully we don't reveal anything right now, right? That's That would be the great fear, that we reveal something uh, right now. But we didn't, so that's good. Uh, we are going to take some time to get everyone sort of arranged nicely. Uh, I think Takahashi will probably be up against this back corner here. Location confirmed. Now, Sharma. It's going to be tough to decide where to put Sharma. And I think it might actually be spart, spart? smart to uh, move Thorn and the ground team through the laundromat here and out the side. Because otherwise we have to go past this truck where we don't have any good cover facing down the alleyway. So I think we're going to stack up on the door here. Moving out. And by I think, I mean it's happening. Sharma, why don't you stay down here for now? Aye, aye, Commander. Fraser, you move up with the roof team. Already there. And Verhoven, yep, you stay down here at ground level as well. Ready the breach. Kicker, steady your weapon. Steady your weapon. And Thorn, you just tuck behind the corner here. Hostiles are headed your way, strike one. And here comes the first drop in.
All right, I hear movement in the building to my left. And we hear like three Thin Men pods on the map, and there's one up on the roof. Terrifying. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well then. Change of plans, perhaps. We have something uh, moving through the building down here. Uh, and we have one Thin Man up on the roof. I think we are going to... How are we going to tackle this? So if we set up to breach this door right now, then that Thin Man just kills somebody getting ready to flank here. I think we need to get... I think we need to get Thorn inside the building. And I think we should be safe to do that. We didn't hear any directional... Uh, sound indicators from inside the building here. If there were anything inside, we would have heard it. Alright, cool. Uh, now then, we need to make a hole for him to actually get up here. Kramer, why don't you come up here? You have no right to do this! I work for the people! On whose authority do you operate? Uh, the people, kind of. Get inside, Thorn. Just people you've never met. Uh, people in suits with voice modulators whose face I've never seen. You know, the people. I work for the people. Uh, Christensen, stay in here and watch the uh, VIP. And we are going to set up a line of overwatch on the building here, supported by smoke. Uh, provided by... One of these folks. Uh, let's see, what's the mobility like? Sharma, why don't you come up here for now? Or... Uh, if I put you here, you're potentially flanked, so it would probably be better just to put you in the half cover facing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Sharma, get up here. And we can hopefully just smoke everyone from this position. Get a big overwatch off on this uh, thin man when he pokes his head out. To see where we've all gone. Not really sure how best to deal with him otherwise. Get your head down, Thorn. Uh, Verhoeven. You get inside. Keep this guy covered. Keep this guy covered. Everyone's just going to overwatch. Really don't have any better way of dealing with that guy up on the roof there. You know, if I had... Wow, really? If I had, like, grapple armor on my scout, we might have a way to deal with that, but I don't. A jet boot mech, maybe? All right, here comes something. Oh boy. That is not good. All right, well, we still have our boy on top of the roof here. Why don't we see if we can uh, get a scanner up here? and see if he's still there or if he jumped around the back of the building. Let's have a peek. Okay, still up there. Here they come. Now, I think for right now, that means we're still going to stay in the smoke, because he could still potentially move up and do something nasty. Uh, but we're also going to have our soldiers inside move to cover these back windows. In the event that he drops down and tries to uh, move through the building, if he feels safer there. speak to anyone until I'm given proper legal representation. And Thorn, why don't you... 
move over here, I guess. You're gonna hunker here, and then if anything, yeah, better to have you in cover facing that way, because anything that wants to get you from this side needs to come past our wall of overwatch. Because we are just gonna maintain the overwatch here. All right, what's your move, Thin Man? Ah. Very acrobatic. Hmm. Are we are we frozen? What's going on here? I, are we joking right now? Okay, we're back. What happened? Where are we? We're like a turn back. Okay. Um. Hold on a sec. I guess I'm just gonna go like honor system and do the same move I did before. Um, Alright, so kick in the door. Ah, nobody's in here. Headed there now. Get the dude in here. Watch the door, Verhoven. Saul. Right, then Kramer head up to the roof. Ich mach mich los. You have no right to do this. I you work, work for the people. people. I work for the people too, kind of. Operate. Get your head down. You're overwatching. You're overwatching. You're overwatching. You're overwatching. Sharma, get up here and smoke. Roger that. All right. Hey, make some dumber decisions this time, aliens. And also, don't break my game. A little worried after that. Hostiles are closing on your position, Strike One. Eyes open, people. Silence. Vous entendez rien. And a drop in behind the truck. Here's something moving through the building below us again. Drop in down there this time. Interesting. I guess it's slightly randomized then. Uh, well, I kind of figured out last time that that guy's not on Overwatch uh, through means. So I guess let's. Hmm. I wish I had some way. See, this is why I need uh, a... Why did I take a flashbang on my scout when my scout should be carrying a scanner? Because my scout doesn't have... Oh, she does have her own scanners. Oh, okay. Cool. Good. I was going to say, I need some way to get a scanner out without it being uh, our snipers. But I forgot. Kelly's not the only one with scanners. Let's see if we can't get uh, an angle for Takahashi. Ah, we can see them both. Interesting. Good. I agree. Do you have anything, sir? No. Uh, you probably will from over here, though. That's affirmative. All right, that looks like a good shot to me. Take it. No crit. No crit. He's still got Overwatch up, too. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, now... Now our scout's kind of in danger. Um... 
we have two thin men that can potentially shoot at her. Not that either of them really know that she's there, per se. Uh... I don't think anyone else can get eyes on that guy in the back. This might have been a good mission for uh, some LMG gunning, but most of our gunners are still out of commission at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, if we could have run this like the Zhang mission and just brought like two LMG gunners, that potentially could have been pretty badass. As it is, I think we just need to set up more Overwatch here, and then if they want to move in on us, uh, you know, to get to Kramer, just make them have to go through Overwatch. So who is... Fraser, why don't you move up to over here? Roger that. Prevost, you stay in the smoke. Verhoeven and, um... Thano, right? Christensen, sorry. Uh, you're gonna pull the same maneuver as before. We want to cover the back alley in case he decides to jump down instead. We saw last time that he moved over to the other building, but we also saw a drop in in a different position last time, so who knows what's going on. You maintain Overwatch as well. I will not speak to anyone until I'm given proper legal representation. Honestly, that's not really a, um... That's not really an absurd uh, request. Commander does not feel really great about this one. It's basically kidnapping. Like this dude might as well have a black bag over his head. This mission's a little gross. Okay, just kind of scurrying around in the cover over there and then dropping down onto the building where he froze last time. No overwatch, that's good. And you. Coming down onto the low ground, wonderful. Right into my trap. Il est mort, je confirme. <laughs> Confirmed. Uh, all right. Well, I think we'll be able to just keep rolling up now. Uh, Kramer will be able to get a roof-to-roof -roof flank shot here, so let's keep running her forward. See if we can't clear this out nicely. Now, if we can't, however, can we get suppression or something on him? Position confirmed. Yes, okay, good. And another flank shot, actually, so... Actually, why don't you lead? Get the hollow targeting on if you miss, and then it's a done deal from our scout. Booyah. All right, good, wonderful. Uh, brilliant. Now then, let's just keep crawling Chill. along this roof. Keep that creep up. Takahashi, you may as well move here and reload. We're green to go. Kind of a bit like the, uh, what was it, the site recon mission. Aye, aye, we want to stagger our reload so we don't run into, you know, one round where we don't have fire up. Because that will get someone killed. Uh, and now let's get ready to start moving out into the alleyway once again. On the move. And Thorn, get in right behind this ATM. Get yourself a soda while you're there. There goes my camera. Um, it's about to heat up over there, Strike One. X-rays are making their way to your position. All right, we hear them. Hopefully, they're not up on the roof. If they're up on the roof with us. We're in trouble. But I think we would have seen them. Okay. Yeah, there they are. Fire. Six damage, but he's not down. That must be the pod leader. Scurry a little closer to us. I'd love to get a grenade on point. Oh, they're going up. Unfortunate. Ooh, shit. And that's one to watch out for behind us, although... No, we can't get anyone on that point right now. Uh, well... Depending on how Verhoeven's arm is, uh, we may be able to deal with this rooftop pod. 
before we move out there, what can we do on this roof? Oh. I'd love to get Fraser onto that heavy cover and suppress, but it's just not going to happen. We might be blowing another smoke here. Because uh, I don't think he's going to have the range to suppress from here. So we may be moving up to half cover, smoking again. Uh, except it's Verhoeven what has the smoke. Uh, hmm. So actually, I think we need to start with Verhoeven. Oh, wow. No, that's the pod leader. Shit, these guys are getting tanky. Yeah, hit the outside of cover here. And yes, we can get the grenade on point. It's not going to kill both, but it's a start. And it's guaranteed damage, so do it. And it's guaranteed damage that's not within line of sight of any of these fuckers. Uh, although I suppose we do need to potentially worry about the one back here. Have to remember about that. Have to remember that. Because there's nothing... There's not much that's just going to keep him from... running up onto the rooftop, jumping up here, and putting some hurt on us. So we actually need to split up our squad uh, to deal with these two threats. Kramer, you head this way. It does open up some more movement here. Now, I can move him up and suppress over here. That does nothing about the thin man on the other side there. If I move him here... If the thin man wants to run the suppression, then he's in trouble. I won't... I don't think he'll want to, though. Aye, aye, Commander. That's not in range. Oh, boy. I was a little worried about that. Alright, get the hell out of there, Fraser. Aye, aye, Commander. Shit. Alright, now then. Prevost, Sharma, you guys need to watch this backside. I'm gonna do so behind this. Alright, we're in trouble if this thing pops up and uh, gets to acid us or something like that, okay. but... Ooh! Ah, that's not a very good shot. Just wanted to spread our troops out to, uh... Potentially keep, keep this guy from aciding, but... Uh, either way, if he lives through jumping up on the roof, we're in trouble. Whether it's from acid or a flank shot from here now. Uh, ha, 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 ha. So I move Sharma over here, then potentially his overwatch is blocked by this unit. So I think we got to stack them up right next I'm to each other. Commander. Would have gotten acid over there anyway, so. Thorn, keep your fucking head down. You're going to overwatch. And you know what? Let's be bold. Going in for the kill. Soften him up with the grenade. Now let Christensen get up there. She's our tankiest soldier anyway, so she needs to be in the fight. She needs to be in the line of fire. That's a 99. Oh boy. Here we go. Alright. Good damage. Uh, you're gonna hunker and get acided next turn, right? So what's my other option? Take a 40% shot. Probably won't kill. But you're just gonna hunker and get acided next turn anyway, so you might as well try to do something uh, before that. Got a 10% chance to keep that from happening. Hey, there's holo targeting. Maybe he falls back. Maybe he gets spooked and falls back. Her glass break, her feet. Is that under Christensen? Alright, fire on Christensen. Good. Attack sense, dodge it. 
hear more scurrying, hear a door kicker. Where'd that thin man go? Where did that thin man go? Okay. Takahashi, where did that thin man go? Could you tell me? Eagle Eye, on the move. No, you can't. He must be in the building. Interesting. And we heard all sorts of scampering from the right-hand side, as well as a door being kicked open. It looks like there's someone right here. Well, let's start working on uh, our target up on the roof here. Let's get back in range with... Good. Fraser. Get that suppression on. Suppression hollow targeting. And we're just going to be popping some shots with uh, our scout. You got one more. Make it count, I guess. Fine shooting. Now then. We've got a pod that just kicked right out of this building here. I think it would be best to strike while the iron's hot. Uh, you know, strike while we have the opportunity. So let's get some free damage out there, shall we? Uh, you know what? Verhoeven, tuck in first. Make sure you're out of line of sight. Then get the free damage out. All right, we got four down there. One sectoid among them. All right. There is something here. Uh, that looks like a setup for Christensen. That's why I left her action up in the air. Because uh, that looks like a kill for the war dog. Wonderful. Now then. We still have uh, one. Can we see his outline anywhere? We still have one thin man unaccounted for. Probably making his way through the building, I guess. Provost, why don't you hit this corner here? Tell me if you can see him. No. All right. Well, keep your eyes open for now. Arma, why don't you do the same from this corner here? Thorn, just fucking keep your head down. Try something. Alright. Still don't know where that guy went. He didn't wander back into the scanner. Might have been smarter to throw it over here so we could get a peek inside the building. Because we knew he left this area, so he wasn't going to be where we threw that scanner. That was a bad scanner. Uh, Alright, options. We potentially have some... What the hell are you sta... What? What is this? What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, wrong button there. What? Is that where the other ones went? Is he standing on their shoulders? Because uh, as far as I can tell, he's just standing on thin air right now. I want to take a screenshot of that. Um, Alright, well, he's not in cover, so that's another free kill. And his acid cloud is out in the, out in the open now. Uh, let's get our camera angle back. Uh, now then, Kramer. Okay, good. Kramer and Fraser. Cameron and Elfried. Uh, we can still get some hollow targeting on this guy here uh, from Fraser. Keep him pinned down. 
Uh, we're going to do that from heavy cover this time, though. Fraser, why don't you scoot out this way, make a little room. Get into the heavy cover. Okay. That's not the heavy cover. Idiot. Uh, get out of line of sight, then. We'll take a shot with Takahashi, see if we can't just kill this guy. I was hoping to get the hollow targeting on point first, but then I misclicked. Damn it. Uh, we'll have Sharma move up, provide some overwatch. And Prevost is just going to have to keep his eye open to see if we get jumped on here. He should probably scoot over to the other side of the building to make sure uh, nothing goes for Thorn, actually. But, uh, shit, I should have moved him up to that cover here. Hmm. Keep your head down. And actually, you just need to keep covering here in case he jumps up on us this turn. Verhoeven, your options are kind of limited here because I have no idea what's out there. So why don't you take a peek? Don't do whatever that cursor just said. You can't see shit. Alright, why don't you just hunker down for now? Now this guy's free to do whatever he wants, unfortunately. He might be going for Christensen. Looks like he just wants to retreat. Something just hit the heavy cover here. Something make its way into the building. Perhaps it was a mistake to hunker. It looks like she just gets acided anyway. Of course. And the mental shit. Right, there's a sectoid out there. Alright, what do you see now? Still nothing everywhere. Holy shit. Alright, well, there's our targets. Uh, yeah, Acided, she's got nothing right now. Christensen may be able to uh, take out the sectoid and at least panic this uh, thin man, although that leaves her rapidly running out of options. There's still also the one health thin man out there that we don't know uh, where he went. Do we still have one scanner? You lead the way in case he's still on the roof overwatching, although I think he escaped into the building. We potentially have a... no we don't. We have a flash on the sectoid. Wonderful. Potentially have a shot onto the sectoid. Uh, it's a 50-50, but... You do just have to hunker down now. Christensen, yeah. Uh, let's not run you out with your pistol, leave you flapping in the wind. Need you ready to make a move next Back turn. Uh, for now, we just kind of need to get through this one. I'm on the move. I'm a little worried. Uh, we don't have anyone covering Thorn at the moment. Though I suppose Sharma is in a way. I'm on it, Commander. Why don't we move Takahashi to this corner here, where he potentially has a shot into the alleyway next turn? Good. Uh, Prevost, do you maintain Overwatch back here? Because I still don't know where that guy went. It's very worrisome. In case anyone jumps up, we got plenty of Overwatch ready. Sharma, you just keep your fucking head down. Alright, we're kind of inviting them to come to us now. Especially towards Christensen. Please head that way. No. Alright. Well, we have one shot. Is that really onto the... 
The sectoid. All right, it looks like the uh, the thin men retreated into the building. Well, we'll take this shot. Lovely. He's down. All right. You are still acided, unfortunately. Yeah, nothing doing there. Christensen, why don't you see if you could provide some intel? Okay. Ah. That right there is potentially actionable intel. Uh. We could have our scout drop down right on him. Take a close range shot. Might wound up uh, might wind up assing herself. She could even potentially step into the building to do that, but there's at least one more thin man back there. Uh, we don't want to leave her in the middle of that. Uh, Sharma, why don't you come down here? Provide some overwatch for now in case anyone... Alright, good. Cool. I was worried a little bit that the angles there might uh, dick me, but they didn't. Uh... If I was better at counting, I might not feel the need to leave Prevost back there. But I do feel the need to leave Prevost back there. Now, if Erhoven isn't done being acided next turn, Sharma can deal with that, and then we'll have grenades on point to crack this whole thing open. Uh, for the meantime... Hey, you know... 40% ain't terrible. Yeah, see? Hit that Thank corner you. cover. I think that'll be the safest point for you. That's affirmative. Fraser, you watch some backs up here. And Prevost, you come up to watch the alleyway. In case anything comes out of that door. Here's something off to my right. Did he retreat through this that? building already? Oh, interesting. Okay, we had one down in the car park. Is he coming up? Is he coming up to get close combated? No, he's running into the alleyway. Nice is my this looks like his second move, though, so wherever he goes, he's going to be an easy pickup for Christensen. Negative damage. Oh, yeah. Very easy. Uh, we may, in fact, let our scout take the first shot from up on high, rather than potentially acid another one of our troops uh, bringing Christensen down there. Let's so, let's do just that. That's 100%. That's hollow targeting on point. You're no longer acided, but... Uh, you are still acided, but I think we can... Uh, put up with that for now. I don't think it's vital that we blow a med kit on it. I'm worried if I move her down here if there's something inside the building that we reveal. But we can always run and gun her out. So let's see. Heading to that location. Enemy in sight. Oh, I wasn't expecting a new pod. Interesting. Yeah, why don't you just uh, reposition a bit there? Could have maybe gone back with the pistol, but I didn't. Uh, all right, now we're in an interesting position where... Yeah, let's get that acid off. We got three med kits anyway, and nobody's taken a proper hit yet, so. Don't move. You'll be fine. I think there still may be one, 
Oh, yeah, Thorn's got to go now, because they could come back around and hit him from there, so... Thorn, why don't you move up with our roof team for now? Alright, Prevost, move over, cover him, watch the door here. Hell, maybe clump them together so they'll, they'd prefer to acid him rather than shoot if they do get up here. Takahashi, you reload. Back in. Verhoeven, do not open that door right now, but do you cover that door. Overwatch as well, wonderful. You guessed it, boys and girls. You've got hostiles inbound. Stay That's frosty. what I get for moving Thorn. Quiet. Looks like they're coming around the back. Ah, and he's very, very eager to take the roof that Christensen evacuated. Hey, there's our one health thin man. Somehow not aciding Verhoeven. Wonderful. Don't you dare jump up on the roof. Somehow dropping in through the roof. That's interesting. Um... All right, then. Um, hmm. So, we have Overwatch in the building. We have non-Overwatch up on the roof. We do not have Run and Gun at the moment, unfortunately. Scout does, a sh does have a shot on the one on the roof. Uh, but we need to deal with this back here. Now, we could potentially have Takahashi snapshot for a flank. They'll be pretty close range, but you know, it is a flank. Heading there now. At close range. Oh shit, that's terrible. Oh my gosh. Well, we need to kill him one way or the other. So try it. Close range. Good. Wonderful. That frees up a lot of other actions. I was ready to commit Fraser and Prevost to dealing with that. As it is now, Fraser can come over here and we can get some serious hollow targeting out. Hmm. Looks like he's got a better shot, so why don't we have uh, Kramer apply the hollow? Kramer, can you fall back to heavy and apply the hollow? Or is this going to screw me again? Ugh! Why do I keep trying? Uh, well, I can apply the hollow for Prevost, then. By suppressing. Let's be, uh, responsible. Uh, because if Prevost misses this, we don't need this guy ruining our day. Pretty good odds, though. Doesn't have the damage. <sighs> this is potentially cover destruction. Yep, this is cover destruction into Christensen cleaning up. Let's just deal with these problems. We're nearing the end of the mission, and I'd hate to end it with any consumables in my pocket. Ooh, that's not cover destruction. Verhoven is not a sapper. I don't think this will draw Overwatch. Well, I'd hate to end the mission with any flashbangs, too. I already feel a little silly for bringing them, but... Let's, uh, let's use them. Alright. He should be a pretty easy cleanup next turn. Uh, now, there's still one in the laundromat. So let's get Thorn out of any potential line of sight. Let's just run him over here. He's not in cover, but he's behind a line of sight blocker, and he's very far away from the edge of the map. The edge of the roof, I mean. Uh, and we'll have Kramer cover for him just in case. Now then, Sharma, do I want to move you in here? We have a guy standing out in the open. You can potentially clean him up. I don't think he'll be acided. Roger that. See what you can do, Sharma. That 
op zone is about to get hot. More drop styles are inbound to your location. Uh, again, through through the roof. Uh, we saw that flank icon there, suggesting that he actually stopped on the roof at some point. But uh, now we have one in the building here. It was very good shooting from our big brain soldier Sharma, and he may need to pull off a repeat performance Solid here. Copy. Right now, failing that, uh, we can have Takahashi come in for another close range uh, snapshot. Let's do it. Hell yeah, promotion for Sharma and his big brain. Now, we have a flashbang to Overwatcher down there, and we have a dude hunkered on the roof here. Uh, the one hunkered on the roof, I think we're just going to need to keep suppressing. Because uh, we don't have a good answer for Roger him yet. That. Probably send Christensen up there to deal with that. In the meantime, uh, well, maybe Takahashi potentially get an angle from here. It's a hunker, but let's see what you can do. Yeah, go for it. I wasn't expecting much. Shot wide. <sighs> yeah, it's a hunker, but let's see what you can do. Nah, I wasn't expecting much. Now, he's not going to be flashbanged forever, and I think Christensen will be able to take this one on the chin, even if he manages to make the shot, so let's get in there. The perfect amount of armor. Negative. Weapons dry. Whew. Is his cover even still there? How is he still hungry? Oh, it is there. It just weirdly popped out for a while. Uh, now then, Verhoeven, why don't you get ready uh, for the big flanker next turn? But as of right now, you need to stay on this side so he doesn't know that he's flanked. Hopefully he'll just hunker again and not try to do something silly. Shh, I'm not here. And Thorn, hit the heavy cover and keep your head down. Whew. That was close. I just felt my t my uh, chest tighten up as that happened. Uh, good. Looks like we'll be able to wrap up this mission with no real wounds, uh, because Verhoven's coming in close for the big flanker. Affirmative. Wonderful. And she even avoids being uh, poisoned again. On my way. Reload. We're green to go. Yeah, one thing I, I never really considered is how much of a downgrade the uh, scatter laser scatter laser is in terms of ammo. There's five on the baseline shotgun, and then three on the uh, the scatter laser. Solid copy. All right. So I believe that should be all of our contact. Uh, we'll just maintain. Uh, Location confirmed. Defensive posture here as we get Thorn to the evac Head point. Out. Keep our overwatch up. No reason to go soft. But uh, I believe that should be it. Good to go. Thorn, stay away from the edge of the building. Next turn, you should be able to sprint into position. Prevost, why don't you move up to uh, cover the captive? Just to be extra safe, let's have our scout clear the way first. 
just in case there's one one thin man on overwatch here I lost track of doesn't look like it thorn sorry for whatever's gonna happen to you like I understand things kind of went to Who shit in Russia I demand answers executed to the numbers strike one get back here on the double VIP is safe and on board excellent work strike one Wipe out any remaining aliens and come on home. Objectives updated. I got it, Bradford. Um. Yeah, I mean, nar narratively, this mission, I don't know. Like, gotta believe that this guy was willing to collaborate with the aliens because he wanted to keep the people of his country safe, you know? Uh, obviously, that didn't turn out too well for him in the end when, you know, he's being hunted down by aliens, but... I don't know, I always felt kind of weird about this one, dragging this guy home to be, you know, probably mistreated. But, that's the mission. Very happy that we managed to get through with no casualties, even on that, uh... Pretty stupid run straight into Plasma with Christensen on that last turn. Took it all on the armor. Phalanx and Alley Plate actually comes out to exactly Carapace, don't you know? Everything by the numbers and not a scratch on them. Hopefully every operation goes this way. Well. I mean, a bit of a scratch on the Phalanx, but uh, yeah, we've got the Bishop. Alright, yeah, that's kind of the perfect, um, the perfect name for you. Alright, Christensen, I believe, is up to that hit and run, yeah, close encounters level. Uh, I think I'd be more inclined for Close Encounters on her, especially because it comes with the will bonus, and not having Steadfast, you know, she still is potentially susceptible to uh, getting panicked, as well as, you know, as our frontline tanky trooper, she is in the line of fire for psi attacks as well, so having the will bonus there is definitely going to be uh, 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 helpful. And hit and run and close encounters do very much the same thing, just sort of triggered differently. This whole tier is basically like, how do you want to take two shots on your turn? So hit and run, I think, uh, works out a bit better if you want to use like uh, an assault rifle finding flanks with sprinter sort of assault, uh, and then Close Encounters is more of an up-close-and-personal shotgun-style assault, because uh, Hit and Run relies on a flank, whereas Close Encounters relies on just close proximity, and then Rapid Fire is just take two shots against one target. Uh, it's sort of less finicky to use, but it's potentially, like here, with either of these, you can like move out to a dangerous position, take a shot, and then move back. With these, you're more static. I'm going to go with Close Encounters. I done did it. Uh, and Sharma, what are you up to? You're up to... Covering Fire, or Opportunist, Smoke Grenade, Paramedic. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with you here. You're my Psy Candidate, so like it kind of makes sense for you to go like Smoke Grenade, whatever, Combat Drugs, and be like the full... Uh, like mental warfare will soldier, but it kind of also makes sense for somebody else to have combat drugs rather than you, because you're already going to have like psi inspiration, you've already got a way to like boost up our troops um but consider this smoke grenade, you take the perk, you get your free smoke grenade action you throw the combat drugs out there, you still have your yellow actions, you psi inspire a dude, he's got like a jillion bonus will he gets the clutch mind control. Yeah, it's gonna be smoke grenade. All right, moving on. 13 Thin Man corpses, so I guess we can start selling some of those off. And money, please? Oh no, right, a support corporal. Uh, Remember, we will be watching. Let's see who that is. <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh, this is very weird. I forgot. I installed the custom name list here, didn't I? Uh, because that just kind of brought somebody back from the dead. 
Um, no, no, that was Specialist A Corn. Um, and this is Corporal Acorn. Um, well, welcome back, soldier, kind of. Uh, you're coming in as a medic or engineer corporal. I think you're going to be an engineer. Uh, yeah, that's, this is interesting. I had forgotten about that. That means that our two soldiers that are coming in very soon are going to have custom names as well. Uh, I don't know if I ever mentioned this on tape or if I just mentioned it on Twitter. I put together a... Uh, oh, I did. I did. I remember now. I put together a name list uh, made up of like people I follow on Twitter, some of the soldiers from this campaign, actually, uh, and like a bunch of characters from other tactical games. Uh, I think like mostly Advanced Wars, maybe some Fire Emblems. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe a couple Final Fantasy Tactics? I'm not sure. Oh, that's going to be potentially really weird if we get like if we get like a Zoko or a or like a Yoder or something that might like make my skin crawl a little bit. I don't know how I feel about that. Um <clears throat> So let's compare engineers. We have one sergeant, one lance corporal, And one corporal. Medics, we have one lance corporal, one corporal, two corporals. Yeah, I think I might make you an engineer. Kind of like engineers more than medics anyway. Yeah, congratulations, you're going to be an engineer. For not EA. In fact, you might be... Yeah, you're gonna take smoke. And then you're gonna take smoke and mirrors. Uh so you're you're now our support grenadier. Congratulations. Let's at least get you in uh the proper uniform. Maybe dress you up a little more later. Uh and unfortunately Verhoven didn't get a promotion off of that mission, so you just overtook her despite all of her <laughs> hard work. She was 40 away. Uh, if she hadn't spent those turns acided and maybe was out killing, she maybe would have gotten the, uh, the clutch experience we need, but uh, now we have Corporal Acorn. Not not Acorn. Hold on, let me... Right, not Specialist Acorn. This is Corporal Acorn. Entirely different person. Totally different. Um, not some kind of Dread Revenant at all. Definitely not. Uh, but now we have a corporal support engineer up to the smoke grenade and the smoke and mirror. So he now has hold on, one additional use of all equipped support grenades. Does that include the one he gets from here? He still gets the, the bonus action if he smokes first. So he can like smoke grenade if he's in a decent position. And then he can also, hmm, yeah, like right now, boom, double flashes. How do you feel about that, huh? And double HEs, and one, maybe two smokes. What's that? Maybe we need battle scanners instead? What if he had all the battle scanners in the world? I love battle scanners. What if he was just a battle scanner flashbang troop? Uh, and he was like a weird sort of frontline utility shotgunner with extra conditioning. How would you feel about that? I'd feel pretty rad about that. I look forward to your future career, Corporal Deacon Acorn. Not a corn. Uh, well, that gives us a lot of corporals ready for the next mission, whatever it may be. So that's good. Uh, so that's one bonus troop there, and then two more on their way. Uh... Whenever they show up, they're not they're not in the list. Are they too far off? Show me like the actual events. All of them. All of the actual events. Alright, well we don't have any Ooh, get that camera under control. Uh we don't have any money here, so I feel like there was something 
Exalt. Right. I need to scan for Exalt. Is it 50 bucks or 100 bucks? Did I already scan this month? I think I already scanned this month. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I can't really afford to let these go because they can still take money from you even when you're at zero money. And I hear that the council is very unhappy with you if you end the month. We're monitoring several contacts at the moment, but we may need to run a diagnostic. This doesn't look like a legitimate target. If you end the month with zero money, I hear the council is very unhappy with you. Um, well, hey, we just got a shitload of Thin Man carcasses we can send up, sell off. There's $63. Where can we make a little more money? I'm assuming I need 100 to scan. We already sold some Illyrium this month. I can maybe sell another computer or something. I already sold a computer this month. I don't want to sell weapon fragments. I hear you get really squished for weapon fragments later on when you're spending them for, like, foundry projects and Gauss research and this and that. Things are relatively quiet for the moment. Guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. I was Bradford. Uh, well, let's do that. How many... Do I need a bunch of mutant corpses for mutant autopsy? Yes. Need ten for that, too. Shit. Um... And then I want more for the advanced med kit foundry project. I think it still takes some corpses. Uh, and then once you have the new combat systems. Is that even... Why can't we get that? Why can't we get new combat systems? Once you have new combat systems, you can spend some to get chem grenades, which are fucking great, especially uh, with our support engineer. Uh, ready to use them, as well as we should be getting some uh, medics up to smoke and mirror tier. We're slappy. Not Prevost. We're slappy. Right? You're smoking mirrors after this, right? Maybe. Um, yeah, chem grenades are wonderful. They let us apply acid on the enemy. They're a bit like flashbangs, but they also work on some enemies that flashbangs don't work on. And they do, you know, damage with every movement. They're they're exactly like they do to us. They do damage on every movement. They reduce aim. They reduce uh, AOE range. Stuff like that. They're great. <sighs> yeah, I still need to find 40 bucks. I'll sell my alloy plating. Maybe some drone racks? Once mechs start showing up, we should be getting more of those things in. Uh, you know, escorting... Uh, cyber disks and things like that. There's 40 bucks. This is gonna pay off. I still don't understand why the aliens would be willing to go to all this trouble. What could they be after? This is going to pay off, I swear. Intel scan complete. No new exalt cells located. Fuck. Has it really not been that long? Like, I feel like it's been like two or three missions since the covert operation wrapped up. Has it not even like... Ugh. Oh, we're going to get screwed by exalt. Because I don't have, I'm not gonna have enough money to scan for him again this month. Oh, I should have waited a couple days. I guess I don't know when I last scanned for him. I need to get better at that. All right, I last scanned for Exalt on June 22nd, to no success. Noted. Well, let's get that satellite up. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. All right. So. Now begins the uh, brave new world of expanding over Asia. We're going to start with Japan, get the most money we can out of them. Satellite launched. And uh, keep on rolling. I believe we should have another satellite in production. Yeah, six days from now. All right. 
We're getting close to that carapace. We're just a week away. We're also one day away from our research. So, what is it, Doctor? It's a hexagon. It's... It's a triangle. Remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. Whoa. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, that seems a we little may choppy. be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that inter is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's uh. own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them Meld. No, I wasn't interested in any of that. I was wondering how it could apply to brain powers. I I'd like some brain powers, please. Uh, so we can now have gene labs, uh, and then with what do we need? Bio cybernetics gets us on the uh, the mech path. Uh, but yeah, we're going for psionics next. Ooh, which is 11 days requires 15 meld. Whatever. Uh, it says it's slow, but it's not especially slow. And I suppose we could do like if we wanted to stay on the fast track, we could do some UFO analysis or something like that. But now we're going Xeno Sio, Sio, Xeno Sio. Yes. Uh, and then we'll start dicking around with stuff like autopsies, uh, UFO analysis, interrogation, some filler research like that. All right. And with that, we keep spinning. And with that, it's time for an abduction. Commander, we're receiving several hmm. urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Get ready for some kind of stupid Ben Folds joke in the uh, episode title for this next one, as we're headed to Adelaide, uh, onto a long roadway. Uh, fortunately, we have... Woo! Still got a lot of guys in the med bay. Almost there. Two days, three days, six days, three days. Uh, but... Yeah, we've got a team ready here. We've got a team here. Some scouts, some snipers, two gunners. Probably be looking at uh, some LMG action for this roadway. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Barbosa comes off in... we got an hour here for Russell, and then an imperceptible amount of time for Barbosa here. I might just click it just so we can... She doesn't have to stay in the med bay for a couple days. Okay, that's Barbosa and Russell. They can come out of fatigue and stretch their legs a little bit, even if they're not coming on this mission. Um, we got Thanau. Closer you to a level, Thanau. Very far away. Incredibly far away. You hit Corporal dead on. Um, strange. Alright, well, we may be fielding our, uh, our new recruit on this upcoming mission, just to see how he does. Um, you might be an officer candidate, actually, if not a Psy candidate, one or the other. Uh, either one's going to require more investment, and we are still strapped for cash, but that has been this episode. I hope you enjoyed yourself, I enjoyed myself, and until next time, I hope that you take it easy. As I again just drag the camera around for no reason, what am I doing? <laughs>